Okay, Power Breakfast here on Citizen TV continues. There's a conversation that we started several weeks ago that I felt that we didn't quite get to the bottom of, so we are going to continue that conversation today. Uh, and we did establish that there's a problem. So today I want to go through some workable solutions in balancing work and home life, especially in the digital age, and just not becoming slaves to uh, technology and connectivity. So joining me in the studio today is Wateba Wanyoni, who's a brand partner, uh, digital agency. Welcome to the show. And uh, Dr. Catherine Siango Mutisia, consultant uh, psychiatrist, sorry, you were here last time for the conversation, so thanks for coming back. Thank you. Yeah, so I think as, as you heard uh, last time, we did establish that there are some problems. So today I wanted uh, to seek out some, some solutions. Now, uh, whatever, as we were just about to start this interview, they had to tell you to put your phone down. <laughs> so, how much yeah. of an addict are you? Is it related to your work or? Maybe you can just talk a little bit about that. Well, um, it is related to my work mm -hmm. because, um, as you mentioned, I work at an advertising agency. And the thing is, with technology, it's made me available 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So I always have to be on my phone. Mm -hmm. I have to check on my work. I have to keep communicating with my clients. So even as I'm seated here, you have to. I have to. As in right now, you're feeling like yeah. somebody's calling me, probably, and I'm not making yeah, up I that call. I feel it so I'm just. <laughs> that's, that's intense. Yeah. I mean, we're constantly connected these days, and you know, there is that um, idea of people, even in jobs that don't deal with with you know advertising or what it is that you do, people mm -hmm. feel like companies are doing a lot. Uh, more with a lot less so you feel that need to kind of be valuable at your job and always be available what are some of the dangers in that Dr. Catherine? Mm -hmm. First of all I would like to clarify that technology has made our lives easier mm -hmm. because we are now able to communicate easily a mother who goes to work leaves the baby at home there are so many ways we can keep checking that the baby is okay unlike before where you had to use a landline mm -hmm. and they were not available yeah so technology has helped us mm -hmm. and uh, it has also helped us that we can be flexible and be able to decide to leave the workplace earlier and probably work extra hours elsewhere mm -hmm. but the danger in that is we need to be keen and cautious that we don't overdo it that our bodies need rest and when you push your body so much mm -hmm. you can actually end up getting stress related problems like yeah. anxieties mm -hmm. like common cause physical problems yeah. even heart diseases mm -hmm. so it's very good that first of all we understand the importance of balancing work and life mm -hmm. and also being careful that you know when you're constantly stimulated sometimes even your sleep habits could be right. interfered with yeah so it's good but we also need to make sure that now we don't break down because of the tem same technology which yeah. was supposed to make our life easier, easier. yeah yes. and i like that you brought that point up because yes. um obviously technology is there to make our lives easier but we shouldn't be slaves to it the sleep thing that you're talking about i've read about you know the fact that you should minimize the amount of screen time that you have whether it's mm -hmm. your phone your tv um, you know several hours before you go to sleep just to increase the value of your sleep but mm -hmm. do you ever switch off ever because in your phone you put it off in a different room or somewhere where you can't reach it in the middle of the night no <laughs> actually my the only time my phone goes off is if my two power banks are also off. right yeah. batteries dead and everything that, that's on very rare occasions yeah okay so i always feel so like wait, you said two power banks yeah it's two power that banks. serious it's that serious wow yeah what's the worst that could happen if your phone did go off for um, an hour i don't know you, i just feel empty without it mm -hmm. you know, i just feel like th there's something going on in my life and I'm not able, like, I can't tap into that. Right. Really. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Uh, you know, do you ever feel mentally exhausted from all of this? Do you ever feel yourself like, man, I need a break. It's just, it's, I'm running on fumes right now. Does that ever happen? Yeah, I do. But um, like she said, the technology has made it our life easier. But at the same time, there is um, a strive to attain a certain level of perfection mm -hmm. when you're doing your job. So you are you are overwhelmed. You want to meet certain standards, and you feel like uh, in the middle of the night you're sleeping, and you're just thinking, a project I did yesterday. Uh, no, I can do. There's there's a few more slides I can add to that presentation. So yeah. the whole aspect of carrying your work home, 
it's um uh, it has an advantage because you can work from home but mm -hmm. at the same time uh, there's a level of stress that's um attached to it yeah that you mentioned. so i want to talk about that working from home type of thing because mm -hmm. there are people who actually do a majority of their work from their home or on the road uh, depending mm -hmm. on whatever it is that you do for a living but uh, maybe dr kathy you can speak about what happens to our relationships at home for example if I'm mentally exhausted because I've been connected 24 7 and you know I just haven't had time to shut down what happens to my relationships at home yes relationships are very important because without social support then whenever you are under stress then you are likely to break down because there's no social support mm -hmm. and somebody has joked around that uh, j just because you have 5,000 Facebook friends mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. doesn't mean that those are real friends <laughs> eh? and that um, maybe you have a function and none of them shows up mm -hmm. so we need to have time for social support mm -hmm. and our immediate family is usually the source of social support mm -hmm. what I meant by that technology can make us flexible is that because we know generally like in Nairobi there is jam at certain hours mm -hmm. then probably with technology you can decide let me leave at wo for work for workplace at 10 after work mm -hmm. or let me leave workplace at 3 to avoid jam mm -hmm. but you need to be disciplined that if you borrowed one hour from workplace mm -hmm. then you'll also just borrow one hour mm -hmm. not that you borrowed one hour from workplace and then you go and borrow six from <laughs> your personal time yeah so uh, we need to be cautious because the body needs physical activity mm -hmm. you need social physical interaction mm -hmm. and you also need to rest yeah. where you switch off yeah. because uh, again if you don't sleep uh, y your memory even for a student even for somebody who works mm -hmm. if you don't sleep then your memory is affected because mm -hmm. memory is stored up when you are in, in deep sleep mm -hmm. so if you don't sleep probably even the presentation you are to do the following day the mm -hmm. work you are to do the following day yeah. will not be effective yeah. so it will be counterproductive exactly. so it's very important that people rest and sleep well because mm -hmm. I'm imagining if your phone rings at 1 a.m. <laughs> I don't know whether you get sleep again and, and you're able to sleep enough and feel rested. Yeah. Uh, I would think somehow then your day, the following day, will be affected. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Did you want to say something <laughs> in that regard? Because <laughs> I wanted to talk about some of these uh, consequences, like we're saying. I feel like, you know, we're not, uh, you know, valuing exercise, mm -hmm. a healthy diet. Like, all of this, I feel like, goes together with having that time to just relax and schedule time to just recuperate because your body actually mm -hmm. does need that. So do you have mm -hmm. time where you, you know, schedule in and say, I'm going to the gym for this amount of time or, you know, things mm -hmm. like that, sort of just away from your phone, away from mm -hmm. what it is that you do on a day-to-day -day basis? Um, yeah, there are times when I do that. Um, Sometime back when I tried the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't have to be the gym, just some type of yes. physical activity. Uh, so yeah, but but the thing is, even at that point you still feel the need to have your phone somewhere close. While you're you. exercising. Yes. Okay. Because I mean I, I the, um, uh, when you hear that notification sound, you you you're just itching, you want to know what what happened. <laughs> is that by is that work? Is that something on Twitter that's happening? Uh -huh. Is it you know, am I missing out on something that's on social media that's happening? Mm -hmm. So it, it's become it become part part of you. You get attached to your phone completely, mm -hmm. uh, such that you you cannot function without it. Yeah. yeah. Even if you've set apart that time for I'm going to do something completely different, mm -hmm. you still need to have your your phone. Still in you. trap close by. <laughs> what yeah. do you think about that, doctor? I think it's an anxiety that uh, you will miss out something very important. Mm -hmm. um, for me, I know that. I'm a doctor by training mm -hmm. and that uh, even in uh, jobs where human life is affected there will always be a second on call if it's a well working hospital mm -hmm. so that uh, if at that time they looked for me and I was not could not be reached there is a second on call so if uh, a workplace uh, they do not schedule that if number call number one is not available there's a number two a number three then mm -hmm. uh, there's likely to be failure because mm -hmm. somebody could get into an accident somebody could get sick yeah so for me i would say that uh, we need to realize that rest and other aspects of life are important mm -hmm. and create time for them that those notifications 
there are people who put off their phone and sleep and in the morning they pick it up mm -hmm. and they have not lost big deals <laughs> but then if you're, well, so you're, you're using big deals then it means you need to do more delegation mm -hmm. or have more people so that you can work in shifts mm -hmm. that if I'm not in now then there's somebody else who can stand in but a lot of it is anxiety right. and most of those notifications could be social media yeah and and it could be not something very serious social exactly. media even if it piles you can still read 50 messages in the morning <laughs> yeah. most of the time is not serious issues mm -hmm. as far as i'm concerned mm -hmm. but we are also seeing um relationships getting ruined mm -hmm. because relationships you need to relate uh, personally and physically um so we need to actually watch out mm -hmm. yes Whatever, have you noticed any of your relationships that have suffered due to the work that you do and how well you do it? Yeah, some, some have in, mm -hmm. in the past. You know, you, you, you learn from it. Mm -hmm. you know? And like she mentioned, it's the anxiety. I mean, formal. You don't want to miss out <laughs> on... You're missing you know, out. missing out. You don't yeah. want to miss out on anything that's mm -hmm. happening. But, you know, uh, sometimes you have to draw that line. You know? There are some... You can lose out on... a good relationship simply because you are more attached to your to your gadgets than mm -hmm. you are to the individuals around you yeah, yeah? and um, I remember you mentioned something about you have all these Facebook fans all these Twitter followers but they're not your real friends mm -hmm. and that, that's what happening mm -hmm. nowadays you find somebody has one friend mm -hmm. in the in real life mm -hmm. all the other exist on social media so if tomorrow you just woke up and boom it's gone then that's it you, you you're left out like there's nothing i mean what, what does that say about us because uh, i i feel like a lot of times these days you feel like as long as you're on social media you're being social you know i haven't seen a bunch of my close friends in a very long time <laughs> and i'm embarrassed to say that yeah. but i feel like well as long as i see what they're doing on social media it's still okay am, am i right in thinking that or mm. is there that interpersonal connection that i still need to pursue it depends because there are various categories of relationships mm -hmm. Uh, they are the immediate ones and it's a cycle with the so they are the close ones uh, so depending on how close you are there are some who you would still uh, probably see once a year and keep contact of course it helps to have good social media contact mm -hmm. you get to know what people are going through what and that could actually make you want to go and vis visit them physically after you've known through social media what they're going through but they are very close immediate relationships like a spouse mm -hmm. like your children mm -hmm. now you can't be whatsapping <laughs> your children or like they're fine or facebooking there. them <laughs> and and you never have mm -hmm. social contact mm -hmm. hugs your spouse you mm -hmm. need to have time find out what is really they are going through mm -hmm. uh, find out the issues they need to discuss with get to know each other more physical contact so depending on the relationship mm -hmm. how how close it is mm -hmm. the immediate relationships you can't replace them but of course uh, depending on how distant the relationship is but eventually uh, even that those social contacts for them to be effective mm -hmm. you'll eventually need to meet uh, physically mm -hmm. once in a while mm -hmm. yes yeah okay interesting a lot of times uh, people who kind of um, spend so much time at work we we're talking about work and home balance a lot of times at work they're not even doing that anything that's that productive mm -hmm. they, you find that people get to work the first thing they do is open up Facebook and Twitter you know and just spend a couple hours just kind of finding out what's happening you know in the world and they call that work but I'm at work you know I'm at my desk I'm actually I'm actually doing something mm -hmm. with your line of work I don't know how much time you spend on social media versus you know actual work or whether you're able to differentiate that at mm -hmm. all uh, maybe you can speak on that Okay, I'm um, uh, with my line of work because mm -hmm. I'm at a digital advertising agency. Mm -hmm. Social media is 80% of my work. Okay. Yeah, so I constantly have to be online. But um, like you mentioned, a lot of time we spend so much time on um, checking all these social networks, we might actually forget about the real work. Mm -hmm. And that's how um, you, you get individuals end up carrying work home, you know. Because most of the time when you're working, when you're working late mm -hmm. and you're, um, you're past the, the set working hours, it's not because the workload is too much. Mm -hmm. If you look back at your day, there are about the, time. Yeah, four <laughs> hours that were wasted just mm -hmm. on, 
on social but then like I mentioned in the beginning you you want to achieve some uh, level of perfection you don't mm -hmm. want to go you don't want to go home and then tomorrow your boss calls um, calls you up and asks you why didn't you finish up uh, what you were doing yesterday and yeah. like you know it was time to go home I had so to I went live. home yeah because if you want that free time I mean you can get the free time mm -hmm. sometimes it will be a lot that you love to find another job so mm -hmm. yeah I put a, up a, a question on social media earlier and I asked people if your boss texts you or whatsapps you uh, yeah. during your time off which they can easily do now because we're ever connected mm -hmm. how long should you take in replying being that either you're on leave or it's the weekend and you're not really required to respond mm -hmm. what what do you have to say about that I got some interesting for me responses. I would say depending on um, uh, the relationship and depending on your availability because if you see it after a week and you're on on, on holiday or you're on um, your leave mm -hmm. there isn't something wrong so long as you explain how oh, I've just seen your your message mm -hmm. because again workplace it is research has shown that when people bond at workplace mm -hmm. then uh, they tend to work better and they are happier to work together yeah. so I don't say that just because you work together that you can't be friends mm -hmm. it depends on whether how you relate and mm -hmm. you respect your boundaries right so like if you decide to send me a message when I'm on leave mm -hmm. and I see it two weeks two, <laughs> two weeks later then at least you should be able to understand that I was on leave okay if you send me a message after work and I don't see it at until uh, eight o'clock the following day mm -hmm. then you shouldn't take it personally mm -hmm. but if I'm able to see it immediately and reply mm -hmm. we also encourage people at work to relate well mm -hmm. so for me I would say it depends on the convenience of the person mm -hmm. because you are not duty bound yeah the other way I advise people is when you go to w when you wake up in a day or the day before plan mm -hmm. your day mm -hmm. so like I want to work on this particular work tomorrow mm -hmm. so then you say from this time to this time I have to work on this and after you finished on that is when you can go on your social media otherwise you don't plan what you're going to do the following day mm -hmm. even uh, somebody apply a young person who is applying for jobs he can wake up go on social media forget that mm -hmm. they were supposed to send application mm -hmm. so or you go online you wanted to look for online jobs and yeah. then you get divert, yeah. di uh, diverted and uh -huh. you never do what you so when you set out mm -hmm. your goals that tomorrow I'll do one two three and from this time to this time then I can only go to social media from this time to this time mm -hmm. then after this time to this time is time for my family and this uh, this is the time I need to exercise because exercise is is healthy mm -hmm. for those who have to cook for themselves they also have to find time to shop and cook the right meal mm -hmm. otherwise they'll be eating junk mm -hmm. because they have no time to think about what they eat and mm -hmm. how they prepare it yeah so it's yeah. a matter of, of planning ahead and along that line I heard a tip of someone saying if they know that they're going to be away uh, and unreachable for a while they'll just communicate that to their employer mm -hmm. or to their colleagues and say hey I'm out of the office or you know if I'm, I'm if I don't respond to your message right away don't take it you know personally I'm, yeah. I'm off mm -hmm. do you ever go on vacation <laughs> I do, but, <laughs> but you take your phone and your two uh, power banks with you. Yeah, you see, uh, the question you ask how how fast you should respond. Mm -hmm. I mean, if the your boss hit up, calls you up or um, sends your message on WhatsApp, yeah, as, l as long as those blue ticks are there, you had better respond immediately. Because he Cause knows you that have, you've you seen are the online. message exactly. <laughs> but my um, uh, thing is mm -hmm. with. Um, I'd say with our line of work in terms of um, the digital space, mm -hmm. you have to reply emails. At least you give yourself two hours, wow. you know, a two hour window. I mean, you'd wake up to emails at 3 a.m., emails at 4 a.m., mm -hmm. you know. Um, sometimes you're on leave. Yes, you have set the notification, mm -hmm. please. I'll be away from mm -hmm. this, going to this state, contact this person. But at the same time, you feel the need to respond to that email you only leave this but because you don't want to come back after say two weeks or a whole week and work has piled up right yeah, yeah. there's also yeah. A, I, fee, I feel like a, a certain amount of guilt associated with yes. with uh, you know people wanting to prove again themselves that they are valuable that I am you know I'm still with you guys even yes. though I'm not uh, physically at the office yes. right now how do we deal with that guilt mm. yes we need to understand that no one is indispensable that if today I died work will continue right somebody else will come who might even do my job better mm -hmm. so we need to realize that yes workplaces can go on without us 
and if you are sick in a hospital bed where work will still go on mm -hmm. so we need to realize that and just be gentle to ourselves we are not saying you don't do your work but like i said if you plan i have sup i'm supposed to finish this work so i will target to do work on this from nine to one and then i take a lunch break then from two to five or you decide in the morning i need to give me time myself time i go exercise mm -hmm. whichever exercise i can do mm -hmm. then uh, come back prepare for work then i plan like i'll pick my children from school or I'll, I'll meet them when they are home after work then i wait for my husband you need to actually plan for your for your life right. otherwise if you just let it go it just then happened. you will spend the whole morning from nine to one on social media mm -hmm. then at two your boss is asking for your <laughs> work and you've not started on it mm -hmm. then you find that by five you can't finish and you have to carry it home not because you didn't have enough time but because you spend a lot of time on on social media which mm -hmm. could have waited anyway mm -hmm. yes yeah yes. so it's about it's about just uh, you know being organized they also say that if you plan out your time or you plan out your week and you say at this point in the week I'm going to take two hours to go shopping or exercise or do something that I enjoy it also gives you something to look forward to yes so you're not just going through your week like you're saying just mundanely things happening and just running around like oh, <laughs> you know what's going on yeah you need to have a hobby because mm -hmm. what would happen if there's no work mm -hmm. I mean you need to have something which makes you happy also let's ask whatever <laughs> that question what would happen if there was no work <laughs> Wow. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a hobby? Do you have something that you... Um, uh, yes, I do. Mm -hmm. um, but again, uh, it all taps to the same space. You so, know. so your hobby because is your work, is your life. Is your even life. Where, when you say you, um, uh, you like hiking, mm -hmm. yeah? you want to go hiking, but at the same time, you want to Snapchat that whole moment. <laughs> you know, you... Um, uh, you decide this weekend you're going bi bike riding with my family, you know, but you feel the need to take that photo, you know, instead of um, having fun, you're actually letting people online know that you're having <laughs> fun. So that's, that's what happens nowadays. Mm -hmm. so it's, um, Don't you think though at some point it starts to feel like it's more important for me to let people know that I'm having fun than for me to actually be in that space enjoying life? I feel like that's what ends up happening a lot of these times when we share so much of our lives on social media. Yeah, it, it gets to a point where um, the, the, the line between those two, it, it's very thin and until somebody points it out, you might not actually realize it. Really? You know? I mean, you, you, could be on, um, you could be on a date and uh, three quarters of that time, you're on your phone. You're checking your phone, checking your phone mm -hmm. and until the other person points it out, to you it's normal. That's you know, life. Because it's, it's become part of your, your, your life, you know. I, I mean, we get to a point where um, I know a few friends of mine who bark in their, when they go home mm -hmm. over holidays, so the parents put a rule. When you come to the table to eat, no phones. You know, because this is family time. Mm -hmm. No phones, don't check your work, don't check on your friends, like, interact. This, this is your social space mm -hmm. right now, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, I... I usually picture that in my head and I'm thinking, wow, that, that must be really hard because, you know, just be having this itchy thing. Itchy thing. Dr. Catherine, do you think that's possible in this day and age and, and just going forward into the digital space that we're heading into, I'm imagining it's just going to get more pervasive. And not just families, but even just for individuals setting time for themselves where I'll get home at, you know, 6 o'clock and until... Eight, I won't touch my phone. Is that realistic? Yes, it is. And actually, if you try to discover that you get more relaxed and you get more energized for the following day, so it's very important that families, you create time to just interact mm -hmm. where all those electronics are off and you discover things you had not known about each other mm -hmm. you discover somebody is going through a hard time mm -hmm. or you discover that whatever issue you are struggling with one of your family members can give you various options on how to tackle it mm -hmm. but if you're just on yourself and googling solutions <laughs> and they are not practical <laughs> then uh, you will continue suffering in silence when yeah. you could have shared it out you also get uh, to understand what your family 
members are going through. Yeah. So each person, there's nobody, you know, in an African society, there's nobody without a family because you come from, you have a mother, a father, mm -hmm. you have siblings, mm -hmm. you have cousins. Mm -hmm. uh, even if you're not married, mm -hmm. uh, but also, you know, even if you, you need time to date before you can actually get m married. Yeah. So in, even friends, general friends, mm -hmm. you need time to talk. Yeah. Because what is friendship for? For support. So how do I support you when I don't know what you're going through? Mm -hmm. And should I wait and get, you know, people cannot say everything on social A media. A notification. <laughs> on the social Online. media. I can't give you all the details. I not need to talk to you one on one to mm -hmm. be able to get the details and yeah. not to support you. Yeah. So it's very important that people create time. Um, mm -hmm. it, it, it works. So people just need to remove that anxiety that uh, what happens when you go to a country like China where most of those social medias are not Blocks, there, yeah. you will still come back and find <laughs> that life moves on. You didn't miss a lot. Yeah. Yes. I like what you said and I do think that we need to try it and spot the difference. Because yes. it's just like healthy eating and all these other things that we're supposed to do for our bodies. Once you actually do it and you notice the difference, you say, okay, this is something that I can continue forward with. So maybe we could just have some final comments uh, from you, whatever. I know your situation is a little complex, but you know, in terms of digitally not making ourselves slaves to the gadgets and to mm -hmm. still being able to enjoy life. Your final comments on that? Um, uh, I'd say it's something you have to train yourself. Um, uh, if you're trying to balance between life and work, it's not always about taking all that perfection. Like she said, no one is indispensable, you know. Mm -hmm. So you have to to really realize that um, aside from your social networks, yeah, aside from that digital space where you have all your work and um, all your activities are concentrated, mm -hmm. you still need to concentrate on the important things in life mm -hmm. and that's your family, your close friends, the people you know mm -hmm. in person because mm -hmm. what happens tomorrow if um, we wake up and there's no internet? <laughs> I mean, it's a situation <laughs> nobody wants to imagine but if yeah. it happens yeah. then um, you're left with the people, Around you know, you no longer have um, a, a Twitter handle, mm -hmm. a Facebook username, a Snapchat mm -hmm. handle, you know. Your worth is literally who you are in that moment. Exactly. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Catherine, maybe, I think, we, I think we've gone through a couple of workable solutions here. Uh, and one thing I've really heard from you is about planning and scheduling and, uh, you know, trying it out to see the difference. Any other final thoughts that you want to share with people who are struggling with this balance? Yes, I think people need to understand the importance of resting and the importance of uh, social networking and the importance of physical activity. And uh, that's why some gyms are so strict. You get in and you can't answer your phone calls. Mm -hmm. And you go through your one-hour exercise and you come back and probably nobody calls you. A few <laughs> notifications and you phone. wonder why would somebody post this on Facebook. Mm -hmm. You wonder why you felt... So uh, people need to understand the importance of it. Only if you know the importance of anything would you plan for it. Mm -hmm. And um, once you plan for it, then you'll find time for it. Mm -hmm. And uh, let people uh, find hobbies outside the social media. Let's also have social contacts. They are mm -hmm. very important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Interpersonal relationships. I want mm -hmm. to thank you both for being here. Uh, I feel like we've gotten some nice solutions and hopefully people who've been watching have learned a thing or two about balance and you know just try it out. I am going to try out some of the things that you've uh, mentioned today. So if you're watching uh, the hashtag to keep using is of course Power of Breakfast and speaking of social media Willis Raburu is standing by uh, with an update for us. So Willis what is going on?